Hello there. Thanks for your interest in click to mail My name is Carly and I'm the Customer Support Manager. Today I'm going to show you how to send letters through Mailing Online. For this example, I'm going to upload the letter, which is a three-page PDF file, and then upload the mailing list of people I want to mail the letter to. The mailing list is a CSV file. The CSV file includes two sample records. One is my office address, and the second is an international address. Note that row 1 is a header row that gives titles to all of the columns that include data. To get started, visit www.clicktomail.com and sign in to your click to mail account. After you log in, you'll be taken to your project section. Projects are folders that you can use to organize different mail jobs. You can create a new project for your job, or you can just click Start Job, which is what I'm going to do here. Now I'm going to select a product, and in this case, it's letters, so I'll click that. Then I'll click letter 8.5 by 11. Now I'm going to select the printing properties for my letter job. In this case, I'll leave the address on separate page layout. I'll change the print color to black and white, and the print options to printing both sides. As I make changes to the printing options, the cost estimator on the right updates my estimated job cost. When I'm finished here, I'll click Start Job. Now we're looking at the Job Configurator. The section at the top outlines the printing properties you just selected on the previous screen. You can click Change Options at any time to make adjustments. Below that are the Document and Mailing List sections. You can complete them in either order, but I'm going to start with the document today. I'm going to upload the PDF document to my account by clicking Upload. Click Choose File to locate the PDF on your desktop, or drag and drop the file into the box on the UI. Click Continue when you're ready to proceed. Now we're going to upload the CSV mailing list. Start by clicking Upload. Click Choose File to locate the list on your device, or drag and drop it into the UI, and click Set Address Layout to proceed. Now we have to set up the recipient address block that prints on the mail piece. Keep your eye on the mailing label in the upper right. It's going to populate as I select fields from the mailing list. I'm going to start by clicking the first block on the recipient name line. And when that happens, a list of headers from the CSV file becomes available for choosing. In this case, I'm going to select name. Now I'm going to repeat this process with the recipient's address, city, state, and zip code fields. Since I have an international address, I'm going to click the international address toggle so I can add the country field. I'm done with the recipient address block, so I'll click Save to continue. Below the mailing list, you see return address. We'll use the address you entered when you registered your click to mail account as your return address, but you can click Add New to change. I don't need to, so I'm going to click Continue to go advance to the Proof section. Click View Proof to download a PDF proof. The proof represents the file that we're going to print, so you want to inspect it very carefully. Things to check include looking for any address block errors, pixelated images, and making sure that you like the document we're going to mail. If you need to change anything about your job, click Edit Configuration to go back and make adjustments. I'm fine with this proof, so I'm going to approve it by clicking Yes, enter my initials, and then I'm going to click Add to Cart. Now I'm going to click Finish Checkout to view my order in the cart. You can click View Cost Breakdown on the right to view a breakdown of postage and production costs. You can also click More Details to review your printing properties if necessary. I'm ready to go, so I'll click Proceed to Checkout. Now I'm going to enter payment information. You can enter credit card details or use PayPal. I'm going to use pre-purchase user credit, which is great for small jobs that don't meet the minimum $2 production charge. Notice the minimum production charge is removed from my job total after I select user credit. Next, I'll agree to the terms of service, and then I click place order. You can view your job status by checking your order history. You can get there by visiting your click to mail account dashboard or by clicking order history from the menu on the left. You will also receive an order notification confirming receipt of the job. You'll receive another notification when the job goes into production and when it's mailed. You can disable order notifications in your Profile and Preferences section. 
To receive order notifications on the go, download the click to mail dashboard app onto your mobile device. That's it for today. I hope you found this information useful and please let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.